हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू योर ओन केमिस्ट्री चैनल एंड यूर वॉचिंग डी एम जी केमिस्ट्री क्लासेज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट ट्रांजिशन प्रॉबिलिटी इन यू वी विजिबल स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी सो फ्रेंड्स इन यू वी विजिबल स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी द प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ ए ट्रांजिशन डिपेंड्स अपॉन द वैल्यू ऑफ मोलर एक्सटेंशन कॉफिशेंट और मोलर एब्जॉक्टिविटी and i have told you that this molar extinction coefficient is represented by epsilon maximum so depending upon the values of molar extinction coefficient these transitions are classified into two types so first one is allowed transition and second one is forbidden transitions so let us discuss the allowed transitions first so for these transitions the values of molar extinction coefficient is between 10 raised to power 4 to 10 raised to power 6 and these are generally pi to pi star transitions example is the pi to pi star transition in 13 butadiene has molar extinction coefficient around 20900 a very large value and the lambda maximum for this transition is 217 nanometer and the probability of these tra uh, transitions is very high because the two molecular orbitals involved in this transition are present in same plane and the molecular orbitals uh, involved are pi bonding molecular orbital and pi star anti bonding molecular orbital and both these orbitals are present in one plane so they can uh, overlap effectively to a greater extent during the process of excitation or in the excited state so this is the reason uh, behind the high probability of uh, these transitions okay so now let us discuss uh, second one that is forbidden transitions and for these transitions the values of uh, molar extinction coefficient is less than 10 raised to power 4 and it mostly lies uh, between 10 to 1000 okay so these transitions have very low value of molar extinction coefficient and the example is n2 pi star transition and n2 pi star transition in saturated aldehydes and ketones uh, has a molar extinction coefficient less than 100 and the value of uh, uh, lambda maximum is uh, from 280 to 290 nanometers okay what friends here this word forbidden doesn't mean that these transition do not occur at all it simply means that these transition has very low probability of occurrence okay and the reason for this low probability is that uh, this non bonding electrons and the pi star anti bonding molecular orbital are perpendicular to each other or we can say that the orbitals containing uh, non bonding electrons are perpendicular to the pi star anti bonding molecular orbital so these orbitals are present in different planes so as a result of it the overlap is very poor and this transition uh, has a very low uh, probability okay and these transitions occur uh, due to the twisting of the molecule uh, in the excited state and during that twisting uh, the orbitals involved that is non bonding orbitals and pi star anti bonding molecular orbital they come in same plane to some extent and uh, overlap okay but uh, the probability and the molar extinction uh, molar extinction coefficient of these transitions is still very low so this is all about uh, the transition probability in uv visible spectroscopy and in my next video i am going to discuss the characteristics of the solvent used in uv visible spectroscopy so keep watching my videos like and share my videos and subscribe my channel thank you very much